Hello everyone, uh, I'm FDA. Hello everyone, uh, I'm, F I'm a Conus fan. And uh, we're here to play um, so Sonic 4 e Episode 2. Uh, uh... Multiplayer. Multiplayer, yay! See, that, that's me on the left. Yeah, you I, I can't give a thumbs up. Yeah, um, this is, we're gonna uh, do now what Steven and I attempt to two years ago with the uh, Sonic 2, L Sonic 4 Episode 2 LP. What I, I said, multiplayers. We're gonna play locally because we know each Press other in real life. Yes, unfortunately. I know, right? Da -na -na -na. Okay, yeah. so. Oh, we, can do, we, can do, we can do any level we want. It's weird to me that Sylvania isn't leftmost, but you know. I, I know! I can it's dig weird. it. Let's dig it. Right, Let's yeah. go for a new frontier. La la. La la. You wanna be Sonic? Yeah, I'll oh, be oh. Sonic. Are we gonna have the cutscene? I'm already yawning down there. Oh, nope. Did the cutscene. So, Sonic for episode two. Um, you know, it's the sequel oh. everyone wanted. Yeah, I got lost. I, I, Chris, I don't think we've ever talked too much about this. What are, what are you your and thoughts me? in episode two? You and me. Well, yeah. My thoughts on episode two. Yeah. I wish it was episode one. I think yes. it's probably one of the most decent to good games Dims has ever made, song wise. Mm -hmm. I think it. Very visually appear appealing, which oh, is weird crap. after episode one. Um, now you're making me completely worthless. You already were. You're the fly, you idiot. Fly, yeah. my pretty fly. Oh yeah, I, I can't jump. All what, right. Why can't I? Why can't I jump back into your arms again, like in Sonic Three? Why can't you jump back into my arms again, Gareth? <laughs> <laughs> but, yeah, I, I wish this had been episode one. I wish episode two hadn't been such a huge step up. I basically just want consistency between. Yep. Yep. Episodes of a game, and I didn't get that here, but I'm really glad at least one half of Sonic 4 was good. What are your thoughts, Garth? Uh, if you call me again, I'll punch your Garth? face. Garth? <laughs> um, you should. Yeah. Fly. 69. Oh, crap. Okay, we go. <laughs> you're, now you're back in my arms. <laughs> And your crotch. Um, I, I, you know, I like episode two. I mean, as you I mean, I didn't. Um, I think I enjoyed episode one a bit more than most of the internet seemed to have. I mean, it's not a perfect game. Trust me, I know that. But I kind of, I enjoyed it for what it was. Definitely uh, enjoyed it more than I did. <laughs> but I, you know, I completely agree. I think if it, um, at the very least, I wish episode one would have had episode two's graphical style, the, the musical style, physics. I mean, no, mm -hmm. I know episode two isn't a massive leap forward from episode one, but it does. That play better. They look worlds apart. They don't look like connected games, really. They don't. It, it doesn't. I mean, if it, Sonic Four Episode Two, Sonic Four Episode Two, it feels more like a sequel to Episode One than it yeah. does than it does a continuation. Yeah, of this that. is this is Sonic Five. Pretty much. Oh, well, I'm back there. I mean, to be fair, they they could have called this Sonic Five. They really could have. It wouldn't have made much of a difference. Fly, my pretty swim, my pretty swim. Um, one thing I'll say, I definitely played episode one over again more than this game. Like, I did 999 lives in episode one, lost my save file, and then did 999 lives again. <laughs> I don't know why it feels more replayable to me than this game. Um, oh, I'm gonna die, I'm gonna die, I'm gonna die. Definitely fun. I think episode one feels like you're going more through the motions, like it's more... I, I, I think it's the enemy. Because place. episode one is such a straight rehash, I guess it's almost like it's almost like replaying the classics in the sense that I'm in Green Hill again. Oh, oh look! That's my bad. Um, I, that's not really what I was trying to say, but I'm not sure how to word it. Like it feels more scripted and not as free flowing. As oh, this it game. is. It, I mean, episode two is still pretty scripted, but it's episode one is like. I'd it say feels probably like more things are just flinging you around. And I'd, maybe say, that's why I found I'd say. I'd say maybe. 30 to 40 percent of episode one is just. <laughs> I would say about 30 to 40 percent of episode one is just. Get the, get the, get the thing. Yeah, I got it, the thing. Oh damn it! Don't it's, get that thing. Don't get that thing. That thing's bad for you. It's just you know bubble chains, boost pads, boost pads, boost pads. One thing we should talk about: uh, this game definitely feels a lot better to play than episode one. Mm. Physics aren't perfect one to one. No, they're still but not. They're. Frankly, they're good enough. I can't complain about the way this game feels because I think it feels pretty good. The rolling still is a bit of an issue. I mean, like yeah. I would say, like it, it's but better. You know, it's like I just don't roll. It's it's better, but I would I would still say that you know Sonic Advance is, is better physics wise than this. Yeah, if, but, you know, I mean, 
even as a Sonic Retro member, I mean, I'm happy with the way this game You is. can't like this game. You have some uh, parts on a Retro. Okay, right, let me go. It's from the new membership. Well, I am Skylar, so let me just punch myself. <laughs> Ow! <laughs> well, he worked on this game, so he's happy with it. <laughs> okay, did, did Sky like this game? Um, it's been so long. Who cares? It's been so long since oh, I spoke to him about it. Hey, Skyward, do you like this game? Yeah, I like this game. Um, come check out Bad Sonic Fan Art. Hey, he likes it. Okay, so... <laughs> we should talk about this level. It's, um... So it's Castlevania. I mean, it's a very new castle. It has some, uh... Pretty direct inspiration from Aquatic Ruin Zone. But it feels like its own thing. Which is in stark contrast to most of Episode 1. Yeah, well, and all of Episode 1 was just, it's Green Hill, it's Casino Night, it's Labyrinth, it's Metropolis. Yeah, yeah like Lost Labyrinth. It's just like Labyrinth Zone. To be fair, it did kind of feel more um, original. Lost yeah. Labyrinth is the most original of the unoriginal zones. Yeah. But it's... it's just, Please press X. I'm trying to... Oh, sorry. I'm trying to... There we go. I don't know what difference that makes. Yeah, there we go. Okay. But, yeah. Um, one, one thing I will say, um, I'm really happy that Tails is back. Mm -hmm. But why is this flying so nerfed for? I don't know. You can... Like, in, in Sonic 3... Tells um he had like a, you had a specific length of time you could you could fly with him as. Yeah. In this game it's like you can and I counted you can pre, you can press the fly button seven times and then it'll fall down. <laughs> Which makes certain things like there's certain levels in oil desert zone where you have to be like perfect. Yeah. You know? And why why do we start this level in um underwater? Ball? I don't know, but you know it's 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 different. Yeah, I mean, it's not like I will say it's like, um, I mean, so Sonic, I mean, the, the rumor, the rumor goes, I call them some ex-Sega employees, that originally Sonic 4 began life not as Sonic 4. The Sonic DL was the working title. Like, Sonic, Sonic like, hates, yeah, like, Sonic hates these, like, I originally, well, I, I thought it was called Sonic's Hasty Adventure, or something like, something like that. Uh, that was probably a joke someone made. Uh, I don't know. But yeah. Sonic DL was in the, uh, episode one programming yeah. somewhere. But then apparently it, it, it was the marketing of Sega of America that was like, we should just call it Sonic 4 and make a bunch of money. And as much as that pissed fans off, it worked. It did because Sonic <laughs> 1, episode 1 had over a million downloads, which is pretty, pretty good. It's pretty, pretty okay for a Sonic game and pretty alright for a downloadable game. Yeah. So, you know, I'm sure whoever made that idea got a pretty big bonus. It was, Al it was Alan Rebel. <laughs> May he rest in peace. Because <laughs> he's dead to all of us. <laughs> We need to free Aaron Weber and have a stream for him. <laughs> Bring back Aaron Weber from the dead. No, seriously, wherever you are, Aaron, I'm sure you I'm sure you're listening to this. You were you were the best you were the best community rep Sega had and you, you Other than Ben Kalo. He, he wasn't a community manager, he, he was he was in charge of digital. Idiot. No, Ben Kalo was a Sega of Antarctica. That joke wasn't funny then, it's not funny now. <laughs> Although Skylar's Skylar's Metal Sonic beard was was pretty was pretty, was pretty <laughs> awesome. Rest in peace, Skylar. Rest in peace. Yeah, because you're a dead to all of us. Um, one yeah, one let's thing. Let's talk about the games. Yeah, one <laughs> thing I'll say about the like, um, it's a, it it makes sense why Sonic Four is just like a hodgepodge of Sonic One and Two. <laughs> That's a word, hodgepodge. Hoppage podge. Hoppage hoppage. It. it it kind of makes sense why episode one is such just a like a like a crappy amalgamation of one and two because they were just you know reliant on nostalgia. Which, in my opinion, that's what I, I, I don't hate episode one, but that's what makes it the hardest to swallow in terms of it being Sonic Four because mm -hmm. you, you'd imagine that if say a Sonic Four had come out and arguably Sonic you could make you could make the case you'd be wrong. You can make the case that Sonic and Knuckles is Sonic 4, but it's not. But whatever. Um, you, you like if if they had, if Nako and, and crew had made a Sonic 4 back in the day, it wouldn't have just been Green Hill Zone with waterfalls. Yeah, like Casino Night Zone with cards and shit like that. You know, they'd be original stuff. It'd probably be more like this if they were just going to keep kind of going back on classic tropes. Like I think it would have been more original, but I think this is. More in line with an actual Sonic 4. Than well, I, I'd say in this, what this does, which is much better than what Episode One did, is that um, this isn't. I mean, it, it's still not very original. What, what they basically instead of just flat out copying, um, like Green Hill, they it, take ideas. They, 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 they kind of they kind of take two zones and like merge them together. Yeah, yeah, which I think is 
Yeah, that so like, more so like, forgivable and more interesting. Yeah, so like oil desert, you know, Sandopolis, oil ocean. Yeah. You know, it works. Um, Sky Fortress, Wing Fortress, Sky Chase. Yeah. yeah. You know? This aquatic ruin and what? What do you say this one is? I mean, I used to know. Excuse me. Aquatic ruin and another good stage from the classic Sonic games. <laughs> and, uh... White, White Park is obviously, you know, like Ice Cap mixed with Carnival Night, I guess. Mm -hmm. And a little bit of uh, Twinkle Park. But that's not classics! Um, it's classic in my heart. It is classic. Right, we, need to, we need you to become supersonic and cheese this boss so we don't have to put any actual effort in. Oh, oh ow, ow. Okay, we, that hurt. Do we get enough rings? Oh, there he is. You know what? What's what a thing about the music? Um, why do you think? Huh. Why do you think Jun Tenoi just remixed the pinch theme from Episode One? Uh, consistency. I Question guess so. Mark? Maybe. Maybe he just didn't want to put that much. Into it. Wait, like he, he, Okay, now this. This, this is, is awesome. This is. This is, this is I this <laughs> I I rank this up with classic Crisis City moving the signpost <laughs> as like really funny like Sega Tron in the fan moments. Yeah. Because, because, like, like, if you were to come straight from episode one, you'd imagine, oh, we're just gonna have the aquatic room boss again. You know, that's that's funny. That's funny. So, Titan Super now. Yeah, let's not bother to do this correctly. Let's okay, just, I'll just kill him. Let's <laughs> not let me kill him. There we go. Kill him. Oh, thank you. <laughs> I love how I turn super, but you, you still attack him. Turbo tails. Now, I will say the bosses. You know, all the bosses in episode one are just completely hmm. without. They're just crap, basically. Yeah. They're just bad versions of the originals. The, I sure. like the bosses in this in this game. I think yeah. pretty much all of them they're original, and they're fun to play. Yeah, I, I would say you could argue this one and the oil desert boss slightly too long. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, the oil desert gave me a lot of trouble. I didn't care too much for that one, but we'll, we'll get that. I'm gonna do this just so just so I, we can keep some rings, so I don't run out and die. Okay, but now I guess we have to actually do this prop. Oh, oh well. Good one, Thank you, Sonic. Fly, my pretty. Fly. I used to know an optimal way to do this. Just fly, so I'm gonna attack him. There you go. Oh yeah. I love. Is it here? I love how violent this is. This act. Like, why does he? Why does he program? Why does he program the flower <laughs> to like react in pain? You know, like <laughs> Eggman. He's he's one for stage theater, and he's just trying to make a show. He's just just making it dramatic. <laughs> Birth of an Eggman. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. Uh, oh, jump. Yeah. There we go. This is definitely a more fun experience with a non-computer ally. You yeah. actually use the superpower of teamwork to defeat Dr. Robotonic. <laughs> now, one, now one, again, going back to what I was saying about it, like it, you know, um, being a true successor, one thing they didn't do in episode one that I was hoping they do here is that to make it feel a little more like 3 and K. Because even though Sega liked to, when it, you know, it, when people think of Sonic, most people think of 1 and 2, like, you know, and that that's what Sega used to kind of market more towards. But if you ask most Sonic fans which game they feel is better, three and Ks normally. So what I, what, you know, I was kind of hoping for, like, I, I had no problem with three acts because you know, the, well, the reason why Sonic, Sonic for Episode One, has the same amount of levels as Sonic One does. Mm -hmm. I mean, instead of having, no, no, so it's the same amount of levels as Sonic Three does. But instead of having, instead of having four, six different zones with two acts, it's four zones with three acts. Um, and I was fine with that, but um, I, w I was hoping. They would do things like, I love the fact that in Sonic 3 and Knuckles, it's one level and you just like, halfway through you just like, stop, like fight the boss and then you, you know, start again. So I was hoping for like, you know, um, checkpoints within the axe, mini bosses. More dynamic transitions, I guess is what you're trying to say, as opposed to clear cut. Yeah. Level begin, level end. Pretty much, and elemental shields. That would have been fine, because I, I guess the... Um... How did I get behind you? The teamwork powers kind of give Sonic an ability, so to speak, but I don't know. I think, I mean, they do, but I think there's this... The, I mean, I, I, I do I do like the, the team aspect of it, because it, it kind of feels more like Advanced 3. We have the team up powers that way, and we died. Good job. Um, 
But, um, what am I trying to say? But, um, it's kind of like a reverse of Sonic Colors, where you have the Wisps. And I, I guess to a certain extent, the parkour system in Lost World, where you have, like, there's this kind of gimmick in this game. But in those games, the level designs weren't designed around those gimmicks. Mm -hmm. There were a few exceptions for both. But in this, like, the levels were clearly designed around them, which is why, um, when it was first announced, and there's this guy who everyone was like, Oh, mini boss! And nope, you just kill him in three hits. Or one if you have the um, 6-9 attack. But a lot of people, were, like, after um, the treasure one announced, were like, Oh, you know, is there going to be a Tails only mode? And I believe it was Ben Kalo was like, um, Sorry, no, because the game's built around the, um, the team up attacks. Yeah, which... and I would have liked a Tails only mode. I feel like the team attacks just kind of limit the level design like okay yeah now you have to do this certain thing here there's well see no... there, there should have been an option for at least to control tails yeah instead of sonic yeah which i don't know why that thing what because that, that way you, that way you had the best of both worlds you can still be sonic i mean so you, you can still be tails but you have sonic and you can still do all the um, team of attacks yeah so if you just happen to like tails more if you just want something slightly different then hey that's see they want you to play with your friends but I want to be Tails. That's what annoys me about um the Don Donkey Kong with Country Returns, is that like it used to be in the classic you could choose who you want to be Donkey or Diddy, but nope, you're Donkey and you get Diddy as a backpack. Okay, thanks for that. <laughs> Bye. Yeah, I still need to beat that game. I'm at the final world. I just never beat. I haven't played it in a while. It's a fun game, but it's, it's... fantastic game. But yeah, you know what? Saying. I would. I would. I think to go off topic about Donkey Kong Country Returns, and I've said this before, like, but um, as far removed as as they are, to me, Sonic Four, both episodes one and two, and I may get crucified for this a little bit, by me, feel closer to the originals than Donkey Kong Country Returns does to the original Donkey Kong Country games. Oh, I, I never played the original Donkey Kong Country games. The like. I mean, I, I mean, like things like Sonic's Sonic's momentum and physics are nowhere near as good as they were in the originals. But in terms of, in terms of how you run and jump and spin dash, it feels like a Sonic game. For me, and I love the Donkey Kong Country. I I, I play them all. I love them all. Donkey Kong Country Two is one of my favorite games. So you know, I am I, I know about the Donkey Kong Country games. Uh, but um, it just it just it, it the gameplay in return, it, it's still pretty good. But it um didn't really feel like like a country game. This is a weird tangent to take on a Sonic yeah, country. I, 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 I don't know. I just, I've only played Returns. I think that's a good game. That's it's all it's a say. good game, but what's up with that stupid blow mechanic? All right, Miyamoto, you idiot! That's just a dumb move. Pa it? Apparently, Miyamoto was like, you know what this game needs? A game of Donkey Kong. You know, goes on the ground and blows flowers. He just wanted to see that big ape blow some stuff, man. <laughs> Do not forget this ape. So now that we completely not talked about that level, let's, <laughs> let's play this fun one. No, I love it in terms of White Park. Act 1 is all white. Act 2 is all park. <laughs> all white and <no> park. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. I like that it's not more snow. It's actually a completely different environment, kind of. But still mm. in the same zone. It mixes it up. I like that. It is. See, you could tell there was actual thought put into episode 2. Yeah, that's... You know, that's really the best way to sum it up. Mm. It's not, how can we make this like the old ones? It's, how can we take make these it ideas good. and expand on them? So it is like, It is sad that... Maybe not masterfully, but interestingly. It, it is sad that episode 2, critically and commercially, was not successful as episode 1. Yeah, because it's so It's like, I, I don't get why, pe like, critic review reviewers, like, the, the reviews you gave, like, because episode 1 got good grades. It got... Yeah, good grades. Got good grades. It's studied. No. Outside, outside of, of of internet fan bases, obviously you know don't go to retro and ask about episode one. Hey. But um, but <laughs> it's true. But, but um, you know, a lot of reviewers even you know gave episode one pretty good reviews mm -hmm. because you know it's like it's it's a Sonic game we've been asking for for years. You know, two D. Came out before colors, right? Yes. Yeah. So people who were you know not thrilled about those six Secret Rings and least Black Knight, you know, they kind of had. You know, if they ignore the handheld games. You yeah. Know, they had a 2D Sonic game on a home console. So I can see why people were excited about that. But I think this game, like, even putting aside all, like, Sonic fan quibbles, I think it has 
It plays better, it has more interesting and varied level design. It makes you think more about what you're doing. I, I just think it's a much more appealing and thought-provoking game than... I, I, I you know, what I say... And I think more people should hmm. really give another chance and another look. I would say regardless of it being a Sonic game, and obviously we're Sonic fans, so slight bias to what we... I would say this is, I would say this is a good game. Yeah. I wouldn't, wouldn't say made... Uh, I don't know. It, it, it's good. It's good. Sure. It, I, it definitely, it's definitely, yeah, yeah, it's good, great, awesome, outstanding, uh, uh, amazing. It stands, maybe not out. <laughs> stands out above the crowd, even if I have to shout loud. Man, I'm really glad these guys have fur. Can you imagine how cold this crap is? I know, right? What were we talking about? Oh yeah, this is a good game, guys. Why are you watching us play it? Go play it yourself. I would, I, I, I would <laughs> recommend it. I, I would. I mean, I haven't, um. It's probably still $15, but I think. I doubt. Uh, yeah. Oh, we should get some. We air. should get some air before we die. Hey, that's mine. Are oh, you bastard? <laughs> you bastard. I just reenacted Sonic too. <laughs> uh, we gotta jump up. We gotta do our thing. Oh, I I think I can only make us fly. Can we can we bust it? Oh, hey, I can make us do that. We can bust it. No, we can't. Told you. Boston, Boston normally makes me feel good. This, oh, we can go up. That... No, the one later, but there's like six of them. We can't get past that. I thought that blue background was a uh, roof. I thought that we couldn't get past it. The roof is on fire. Oh, it's water. Not bad. I like that they have Tails okay, swimming again. Okay. You know what? Again, this is kind of like um, slight improvement over Sonic 3, because in Sonic 3, Tails could swim on the water, but the second you tried to swim with Sonic, mm. um, he just like fall down. So, oh, improvement. Yeah. Just like how, just how like Sonic 4 improved Super Sonic, like Episode 1 improved Super Sonic by, you know, finally making him, he could breathe underwater and stuff, and, although I will say, it took like, at this point, what, like 21 years, but the developers finally made, and this is a change I, I welcome, they made Super Sonic actually stronger than regular Sonic, because if you fight a boss, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Super Sonic can defeat bosses in less hits. I forgot all about which, that. Which, yeah, that's... that's good, man. I like that. It, make, it, it that's, makes that's, sense. That's a change that makes sense. So basically, with starting with Sonic 4, the only way that this Super Sonic can die is by falling or getting crushed. Like, not good, in, the, in the past games, he could drown, I believe. I'm pretty like, sure. Out of air? Yeah, like, if you're underwater. I don't think so. You really? I thought that's what you did. Like Viewer interaction, please feel free to tell us how we're idiots. It's Chrome Gadget, you idiots! I don't understand. That's what we call a callback. <laughs> so, what were we just talking about? Because you just completely made me forget. <laughs> we're talking about how, how this game is, is pretty it good. Sonic, Super Sonic good. Yeah, it made Super Sonic good. It made, okay. you, th there were some changes that they made that, you know, were okay. Yeah. Yeah, like Super Sonic. So what, what happened with Generations and Lost World, Dimps? Huh? Yeah, Generations is before this game. What happened with Lost World, Dimps? Uh, yeah, what did happen? Ah. Is that... Rotor? I hardly know her. Why would you do this to us, Rotor? <laughs> we buy your comics. What more do you want? Fly up, you idiot. What are you playing at? Uh, I bounced off. How 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 can can Kels fly when he's on his own? Let me break into this guy's crotch. Let's see. Pretty high, I guess. I mean, dang. Kels can fly more when you when you haven't got Sonic on it. Sonic, I'm so tired. <laughs> <laughs> so in in terms in terms of let's maybe not take out the 3D games, but in terms of just straight 2D games. Including the classics, the um, the Game Gear games. If you want to, why would you want to do that? You know, like the the, the Game Boy Advance <laughs> games, the DS games, the you know the rival. You know, basically any two D Sonic okay, game. Wait, small detail. I love that. What? That. What? What's that? that Egg snow Man. cat. Yeah. I got such a little detail they didn't have to add. I'm, I'm gonna. I'm gonna. Die. Oh, I'm dead. I died because you died. That's not fair. All right. Since we're already distracted, I just gotta ask. Why didn't Steve Urkel voice Tails? Because <laughs> that makes so much more sense. <laughs> He's a nerd. But he makes hey, Sonic. Sonic. He makes Sonic sound badass, though. Yeah, he can make Tails sound badass. He can voice him too. That was an exact same voice. Yeah. <laughs> he should have voiced every character like Scratch Grounder and Egg and Robotnik. It's the same voice. Oh man, we're gonna drown again. We're gonna do the exact same thing. We just Where's? I'll come to you. 
Oh, good, you killed me. Oh, and somehow I got air from catching up to you. Okay. I caught some tails, I guess. Did, but did you scrape your knuckles? Um, probably. So yeah, going back, in terms of, because I just fly through this. We're idiots. So in terms of 2D games, just the 2D Sonic games, mm -hmm. where would you rank this? I knew you were going to ask that. Well, for one, I never got to play Advance 2. I'm going to disregard the Game Gear games, because I never because really put that much time into them. Suck. Disregarding the Master System versions of Sonic 2. Uh, I'd probably... See, my list is probably Sonic 3 and Knuckles... Sonic Advance, Sonic 1, Sonic 2, then probably Episode 2. Hmm. I'm probably forgetting some 2D games because I'm. Advance 3? To... Rush? Uh, Rush I Adventure? See, I forgot about the Rush games. I knew it. I'm, see, I'm not good at talking and playing games. Um, sh Let's disregard boost mechanic games to help me out a little here. Okay. So it'd probably be the same, but as what I just said. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, you 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 talk and then I'll see if I remember something. Okay. Um, I mean, yeah, but I, I I rank this pretty. Um, if I was to make like a if I was to make like a rank every Sonic game I've ever played, oh, this God. would probably be towards the upper section of that rather than towards the bottom. Maybe like upper forty percent for you, you might say. Yeah. If I would say there's been like what? How many Sonic games? Like what? 50 like to 60 fifty. Plus. I would say this this may not break my top ten, but this would certainly be my top fifteen. Hmm. I'm gonna estimate you'd put it at number twelve. Maybe, maybe. Hmm, I'm a smart guy. Hmm. <laughs> see, I hate that though, because I like to think of Sonic Four as one entire package, just because it just makes we'll, me feel good. We'll see. We'll see. I think of Sonic Three and Knuckles as just Sonic Three. Well, you see, yeah, that's I'm the thing. Like, you. what the fuck? <laughs> that doesn't make any sense. <laughs> I will say, oh, that's fantastic. In terms of of music, like um, I think episode one has some good tunes, like some good melodies. It's just let down by bad synth. Mm -hmm. I will say though, um, and episode two really fixes a lot, of, a lot of the issues. The um, I you know like with bad synth choices. Mm -hmm. I will say I freaking love the uh, Metal Sonic theme. Word, Jude it's so good. I mean, I mean, I I, I know he is. It's overused as hell. But I like Splash Hill Act One. I think it's it's a good melody. Sorry. Um, I think um, Mad Gear Act One's awesome. Same. Um, I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna completely cheese this and just smack oh. the crap out of a super. See, this is one of the um, things in the game I've replayed just to hear the music. And what I, the? I played this stage. If you oh, get hit, I I stop being supersonic. What the hell is that about? Well, we share a ring count. That's bro. dumb. It's our friendship. You couldn't stand to see me hurt, so you got distracted. My little Sonic friendship is sharing rings. <laughs> um, but yeah, I mean, I, I, I would I'd honestly say the Metal Sonic, both Metal Sonic fights. And sometimes when I replay, I will just play the boss fights. Yep. It's so much fun. And I will say, after the crapness that is the Sonic, the Metal Sonic race in CD. I mean, I know, I know, um, Generations came out and we had a nice little race in here. But these boss fights, uh, they, they more than make up for the crap that was the CD fight with him. I'd say so, yeah. These actual, you know, the actual boss fights, you're actually having fun. Aside from it. this cheap attack, I think this yeah. is probably one of the better, like, race bosses in the series. I mean, I, I would even rank the, um, the, you know, Starlight, Starlight Speedway racer in, in the last level as a better race than the one in CD. Well, you wouldn't. Um, it's I, I put them about the same, but I'm probably you're, some you're, major you're, you're of dumb. It. I don't like bits like this no. though, but where they force See, no. you to stand still for a bit, yeah. like that's no, kind of. I gotta say, I always thought it was just my TV, but is it just me or does the game get darker here? I think so. Wise? Maybe. Oh, you Why? I like how he does the is like ritual. Sonic. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's nice, and I like how there's kind of some desert. Sand here. Mm -hmm. Actually, kind of transitioning a little. Dang. Yeah, you know, Metal Sonic. I'm, I'm glad they brought him back because I like Metal Sonic. I do too. You just want to say he doesn't this. deserve to have as much, like, fame as he does, I guess. That they keep using him and they keep saying the same thing. It's like, how? He's building it up, so shut up, I'm going to slap you. 
I forgot my point. But Melisonic's cool, so fuck you if you don't like him. So it says that most fans say he like like he's overused. Like he doesn't deserve to be as popular and as much of a Sonic villain as he is. He's like, oh, he was only in CD and Heroes, and now this game. What I will say, like he was used in, he was used CD. Then they brought him back for Knuckles Chaotix. Oh yeah. You had like that game. you had like you know Mecha. It's is this is the Metal Sonic because the, the Sonic Two one is called Silver Sonic canonly. And so the, is is three K is the one in three K is that officially called Mecha Sonic or is that just a fan name? Um, I don't know. I just beat him up in the game and don't think about it. <laughs> <laughs> you purist nerd. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, let's get that checkpoint. Oh, yeah. Now if we die, we can start from that point. Did you know the X button was... <laughs> I do like these enemies. They do stop and make you think, I need to approach this in a different way. And again, that... It's a good thing for an enemy to do in a Sonic game. That, that is another thing. The, all the bad things that were just rehashes. These, like, with the exception of Bubbles, which, you know, we could have all done without. They orig the you know, original band and again something like that, it stay remind me of some of like the, the chicken blowers in Mushroom Hill. They're annoying, yeah. but like that they make you work to defeat them. Yeah. Which is yeah. good. That's yeah, it's also what I was trying to get at. It's like it's not just jumping at this guy with good timing, it's it's you how have am to I gonna beat this guy in this situation. Okay, I got it. Kind of stuff. Yeah, and I'm just What the hell? A lot of this is just me like at the edge of the screen or like being magnetized to you. Magnetron. Like I'm not actually putting much in this. <laughs> <laughs> you lead. I'm, I'm gonna. I'm gonna relax a bit. You lead. You lead, Lemon. Oh, okay. Oh, oh, okay. So I will say, Oil Desert. Um, actually, probably one of the one of the most original. Because like we, we've had, we've had sand levels before, but we've, we've never had like a factory in sand. Yeah. It, I don't play this and think of any other desert levels. I think of Oil Ocean Zone. It, but even then, they're so visually. Different, and it's hard to be like, oh, what a ripoff. It's just, oh, interesting. They took inspiration from that. Exactly. I'd say this is, is like a perfect combination of Sandopolis and All Ocean. You know, it just, just works. Yeah. This works really well. Chocolate. Nice. Alright. For some reason, I. Okay, well, I can't. I was gonna make us fly, but someone didn't feel like playing the fucking game we're playing. I wanna fly dead! <laughs> hey, don't so go. Dead, I can reach the sky. <laughs> God! So I can reach heaven. Somebody will be, be waiting they... for me at the gates. <laughs> Come on, St. Peter. Do, 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 do. Oh, Tails. There's a special note for you here. You're condemned to hell. Yeah, I remember why. I remember this. Why I remember this section. Oh, that's all. So normally, it's, normally, it's what do, normally what I do. Normally what I do is I spin dash, jump, and then fly. Oh, nice. That's why I remember. Because it's annoying. Oh, okay. We can go through a sandstorm. All right. All right. S serious moment here. We gotta. Okay, now. You fly out. Do I? I won't get any good job. <laughs> <laughs> nice try to do what you do. So one thing that they brought back in this, um, which is, it's they pretty much become staples now, since Secret Rings. I know everyone likes to say colors, but technically Secret Rings is the red rings, and they do not a goddamn thing. Oh, that's right. Yeah. I, oh wait, they get an achievement, don't they? They do. I, I, I didn't think, think they did that. They get an achievement. I think so. I have them all, but for I don't... some reason why I got them all, and I'm pretty sure it was an achievement. I'm sure everyone was like, "Hooray, we're gonna get something," and then you you get nothing. I don't. I you get nothing. You get dead. I want him dead. I want his family <laughs> fucking dead. I want his pets dead. All right, calm down, Eggman. Now, hey. now these signs, right? Now, I ain't, I ain't a scientist or anything, but I'm not. the signs, right? They only, have, only have two sides, and they start off Eggman, and they end Sonic. But we see a tail spin around as well. It's where did uh, that come from? It's a three-sided sign. So it's a triangle sign. Yeah, oh, okay. You just only see one side. Oh, that's genius. Think about it, scientist boy. Well, I gotta think. But in the ones in Sonic Three and Knuckles, there's there's a Knuckles side as well. Get it? Why is there the other side? Who cool. who put those signposts there? Did, did, did Eggman put them there, or that? Well, there was. Uh, who is the weasel? Who is putting these signposts around Mobius? Knack the weasel. That's right. I said that's Mobius. Why, that's why he's never in the games. He's too busy putting the signs everywhere. <laughs> Knack the weasel. What a twat. <laughs> that character. They were really like scraping the bottom of the battle with that one. Um. 
knack. Did you just make an oil barrel pun? I didn't mean to, oh, but I'm gonna say I did. That's something I would do. I'm ashamed. <gasps> Spike bubbles. Be careful. Yes. I forgot about this. They they appear like twice. It's Sonic Heroes. But you have to press the button. Boom. Boom boom. Uh, and they only appear in like short little rooms, and it's like, what's the point? I don't get it. It just makes you feel good for a little bit. Yes. Right, it's the next zone that has the quacking music, right? Ow! Yeah. Ouch! Oh, okay. Uh, Which, oh. I can't climb or glide. Get over it. Which, I'll be honest, everyone made the joke about, like, uh, there's cats, cat noises in episode one. <laughs> I never really heard that. I, heard, oh, I didn't hear it until anyone pointed it, <laughs> pointed, pointed it out. <laughs> Man, has someone spiked these oil things? Hey, yeah, fuck you now. I'm in the lead. So, you, you, you spent a spike, we just got killed by spikes. Too soon. Come on, I just tried to have a good time. Maybe not. Alright. Yeah. Why'd you do that for? We're doing this now. You, you can't go over there! You know what, we can go? <laughs> yeah, we can to fucking. The right. <laughs> to the right, to the right. Yeah, son! Alright, redneck Rihanna. Uh, Beyonce oh. sang that song you idiot. She sang to the left, to the left. Is that Rihanna's song when she goes to the right, to the right? Unfortunately, no. They'd make a good counter. Chocolate! Why didn't we get chocolate at the store? Stop stealing jokes from Steven two years ago. What? He made, he made, he said that they didn't like chocolate. You think I remember that shit? I don't watch your videos. Neither do I. That's the only thing I remember is Steven said they like chocolate because it made me hungry for chocolate. Well, he's probably quoting Spongebob, so fuck that chocolate. guy. See, it's three-sided. Oh, you went too late. <laughs> <laughs> Let's play the next act. Do you think... No. Nope. I know you don't, but... <laughs> do you think think that episode three is truly just never gonna happen. I, uh, this came out in twenty twelve. Yeah, I mean episode episode one, I mean there was there was a They've never said it, they've released the soundtrack. I don't think it's gonna happen. If they do, I think it's gonna be like too little too late or a why bother kind of thing. Like I'd like to see little planet get free, so some yeah. CD wasn't a waste of time. Yes, that is like a waste of time. <laughs> I don't know, it's just like three years, it's like, may as well be Half-Life Episode 3 at that point. Well, to be, like, to be, well, it, so far it's been two years since it was released. Yeah, but... Was, which, which, there, it, there was two years between Episode 1 and Episode 2. Which is ridiculous for an episodic game, but go on. Yeah. I, I, I guess there's I ain't a seen... precedent now for it to take forever. Yeah. For a four-zone game. Fly. Fly, my oh. princess, fly! I'd, I'd like to see one. I wouldn't mind seeing more of this. I think in terms of the soundtrack, it was just because they they couldn't have fit. If they if there was an episode three, they, they couldn't have, have one disc with episode three on it, and like one disc with two episodes on it. You know what? I don't get about the soundtrack. And I asked, I actually asked June this. I asked him on Twitter, and he replied. I was like, um, I do not know. No, 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 no. <laughs> I, no I was, I was like, on, on the episode, on the Sonic Four soundtrack, why the episode two tracks first of all? Oh yeah. And he was like, because the game came out. Just now, you idiot. What have you been an idiot for? Like, oh, I'm sorry. My mistake. What? That doesn't make sense. Put episode one first, June. I'm dead. Game over. I want him dead. I want his family dead. Yeah, this part's kind of hard. Let, let, let me lead it. Let me lead it. Let me lead it. I'm so glad you're finally dancing. Oh, this is... Where oh, we want to do this. Yeah, because oh, yeah. that'll break through it more. <coughs> I thought about that after. Fly, 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 fly. There you go. Yeah. Yeah, that's fine. Let's do that. But yes, but um, in terms, of, yeah. So on the soundtrack, it goes episode two, episode meh to episode one. And I was like, why? That don't make any sense. It's kind of dumb. I'm a stickler for things being in order. So me, me too. That, so I was just like, I broke it. I, I already broke it. I, I must, I, I must, I must break it. I love it in games, they did the same thing in Mad Gears on it, it's very nice how the sand will slow down when you need it to, and it'll speed up if you come past it, it's good. Uh, that, it's, it's friendly sand. It is pretty friendly sand. Oh. Help. Do I get more flying time if I do this? If you, if you yes! Just, if you would have killed me, I would have killed you. Oh, 
I love being at the edge of the screen. Thank you. What was I talking about? Um, Sonic music ordering. Oh yeah. And so before that, if we're ever going to see episode three. Oh yeah. So um, to go back to the CD quickly. I mean, you know, I I I, I actually re re listened to the episode two side more than I do the episode one. I think for obvious Same. reasons. But um, there we go. I solved the puzzle. You did. I hit the <laughs> switch. Oh hey. Another one. Holy crap! They're getting our money's worth for this mechanic today. But it did, but um, you know. So do you think we're gonna see episode three? Because I, I meandered um, around my. I'm, I'm, I'm holding out hope we will, but the the realist in me is like no. You know, in like 16 years, people are gonna be asking for it the way they ask for adventure. <laughs> like, we're, we're Sonic, Sonic 4 episode, episode three. We had an epic story, and it was frankly the best Sonic game to come out at the time. The, there's there's a there's a fly fly who did. There's, there's a thing of like Sega starting things in threes, like people are still waiting for the third storybook game, you uh, know? Half-Life 3? Well, I think those games were more or less, like, non-explicitly but pretty heavily implied to be cancelled. Whereas what? with this and Adventures... Like the storybook some, game, you mean? Yeah. There was some statement around the time that someone at Sega made was more like... That, that We're straying away from that. That may, I would just say if that came from a community manager, then I wouldn't put too much stock in that. Because what they can I say guess. can be because there was a there was a point where AA UK made this time long post and he said that like mm. Secret Rings and um and uh, Black Knight weren't canon, but then Generations came out and made a Secret Rings reference, which kind of made that canon. And because Black Knight is a direct sequel to Secret Rings, yeah, kind of makes yeah. them both canon. So. You know, so you know. So basically, unless unless it comes directly from, and this is a bit maybe a bit unfair to say, but unless it comes directly from Sega of Japan, always take it with a grain of salt, because mm. something that something that it, the, the West part say be could be completely contradicted by Japan like a, a year later. Could be. Like I would have trusted Aaron though, because he's a Sonic brand manager, as it went on mm. later in his employment. So I think he probably had some input on that kind of stuff. But yeah. I said. Well, Sonic was Four nice. was his. Sonic Four was his. Was his first game. That's right. But yeah, like AA UK making a timeline post. Like it was nice to have people at Sega putting that much effort into posting. I guess because I like, used to see like Ken and Aaron on forums all the time. Like Aaron came to Retro a few times, but mm. you don't really see that anymore, which is probably a good thing. But I, I wouldn't think my employees go to Sonic Four. <laughs> Alright, so I'm, I'm forgetting something obvious here. I just need to bring you up so you can only attack him, right? And not keep getting hit like an idiot? Is that what I keep... Yeah, I'm I keep, scared. That's what I keep doing. Can we only... Uh, it's been a while since that. Can we only hit him when he's... Yeah. I, hit, I hit him! Hey, Fly again, you fool! We are good maybe, at this game, you, I swear. Maybe not you, but something pulled me left, and I think it was probably you. There, there we go! See, we played Sonic games. Upsy before. daisies! Oh, why am I bad at video games? Again, I like this boss, but it goes on a tad too long for my taking. Mm -hmm. And it still has a. Okay. Second phase after this, right? It does. Yeah. It's a pretty. The second phase is um, it's fun, but it's kind of cheap. <laughs> like this game. Oh, I oh, wait. Would you say episode two is cheap? Oh, I mean, cheap to download. Buy it now. <laughs> Sega. <laughs> Please give us money. They hired us. Oh yeah, let's let's hit him while his cock is closed. Sure, Gareth. When, hey, hey! I think Eggman's cockpit is in the mouth. They had to have known what they were doing with that quote. for my mouth. Mm. Yeah, get out. Too song. I'm sorry. We can't. I can't attack him whose cockpit opens up. Open up your cockpit, please, Eggman. Open up your cockpit and say, "Ah." Oh. oh, yeah. The spike blocks now. That's Be careful. Cool. They're probably there before, and I didn't notice. That's not cool. Mm. Oh, Jesus like Christ. Bomb blocks. I can't wait to bomb the dangos! Oh, I guess what we got to do... <gasps> uh -oh. oh, no! 